A North Georgia factory quietly became the largest manufacturer of solar panels in the Western Hemisphere this year. That's according to officials with the state and the Korean-based company that is making thousands of solar panels every week. 11 Alive's Doug Richards paid a visit today. Texas and Oklahoma have oil and gas. Pennsylvania and West Virginia have coal. State officials in Georgia say with this facility in the North Georgia mountains, Georgia becomes a player in the energy industry. Oh man, this is awesome. Governor Brian Kemp was among those heading into the lobby of the Hanwha Q-cells plant for an assembly line visit that excluded news cameras. We manufacture solar modules. And the South Korean-based company released a video showing portions of the facility that employs 650 people near Dalton. The demand for the solar panels made by this plant is undeniable. You know, the U.S. solar market uh, is growing extremely quickly. Uh, next year, uh, the market is expected to it will be a record year for the U.S. solar industry. The year after will as well. Nine years ago, Georgia Power got most of its electricity from coal, natural gas, and oil. From its lesser sources, solar accounted for less than 1 percent. But by 2023, Georgia Power expects its use of solar power to soar from less than 1% of its grid to 13% and more in the years beyond. You know, these solar farms, if you will, are going up all over the state. They're going in downtown parking lots in Atlanta, and they're going on farms all over our state. Although Hanwha Q-Cells has been making solar panels since February, Kemp was part of a belated ribbon cutting about midday. The company says many of the solar panels manufactured here never leave the state. Georgia is, in fact, the fourth leading state in the country for solar installations this year. The South is the leading region for solar installations for each of the next five years. So this is the place where we can be closest to our customers. But this facility itself is only 11 percent solar powered. Officials here say they expect that to change once they mount some of their own solar panels on the roof of this building in Dalton.